Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to draw something else for the movie Trick or Treat. We're gonna draw Sam's lollipop. Just, just the lollipop this time. Uh, I'm gonna be using a marker. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, like marker and piece of paper. So if you're a beginner, this is perfect for you. So let's get started. Uh, so Sam's lollipop is is usually broken in the movie because he, you know, like, I guess he, he killed, hurt somebody with it, right? <laughs> um, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with a circle shape, but not all the way, so. Going to circle, and then, so you have that kind of circle shape, really simple, right? And I'm gonna put like a bite in it. So I'm gonna draw these hooping. Alrighty. Then, you know, I think I'm gonna draw a little bit of a thicker line toward the bottom about this because there's always gonna be a shadow from the top but I wanted to kind of make that evident and usually drawing a thicker line toward the bottom kind of does that. It kind of grounds the drawing as well. I'm gonna draw the stick of the lollipop. Stick of the lollipop. And over here. This marker's a little bit dry. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be posting um, most of the week so if you guys want to see it let me know most of the week i'm going to be posting so it'll be fun halloween is right around the corner so all right now i'm going to go right here and so it has this kind of uh, striped you know pole kind of look so what that's extremely easy with marker so that's what we're going to do uh before i do before i talk about that like i said definitely subscribe i'm going to be posting um every weekday about 3d drawings so i'm gonna be posting constantly actually right now i'm only posting uh, monday through friday uh, monday through thursday so it's about 12 drawings uh drawing lessons every week uh, i might for the last couple of weeks here i think we're like two or three weeks out i'm gonna i might throw in that friday as well though so we'll see so what i'm doing right here like i said going along there again giving that kind of um you know like that angle and then like giving that kind of look to the actual uh, lollipop here all right uh just kind of fixing up my lines here that's kind of important and then what i want to do is i want to give a little bit of a darker area here to some of this To make it look like it has depth when it, when you bite into it, when someone bit into it. All right, kind of straightening stuff out. I, I know uh, when you do simple drawings, the simpler they are, they kind of like more precise you have to be, so you have to be aware of that. Um, but yeah. Then, uh, so the idea is that there's a jack lantern face in this lollipop. So I'm gonna draw a triangle here for one of the eyes. What would be left? It would be one of the eyes here. So that triangle, real simplistic triangle shape. Then let's go in and fill that in. Let's draw a jaggedy shape for the mouth. There's no number of teeth or anything like that, but just kind of this jagged shape here. And that 
also jagged shape, kind of matching the upper part. It's like a saw where it kind of, again, like fits into each other, or like a zipper, I would say. And then let's do it all the way to the end there. Okay. And then we're gonna uh, fill it in. So when it comes to filling in, I would say just kind of make everything wet at the same time, uh, like if you can, but don't worry about the direction. It's not a big deal, especially with something that's black. You know, like you can go left and right, right right to left. As long as it's all kind of moist around the same time, it'll, it'll dry out pretty close. That's a general rule. Of course, that kind of changes um, on a couple of things. Uh, it's kind of filling that in there. So then let's take a look at it And what I want to do is I want to go back and kind of repair some of the line I think some of the line right here is a little bit broken um, So while I'm doing that, let me talk to you about the channel. So the channel is gonna be running until Halloween uh, And I probably will keep updating it. I decided Till after I would say like maybe a few weeks after I might just keep it the same rate for a week after and see what happens um if there's any, if there's enough demand for a Halloween channel, like app right after Halloween, which usually there is a little bit of one. Um, and then I would say in December, I'm probably going to like put some Halloween slash uh, Christmas related videos. Uh, I would say uh, similar to like Krampus and stuff like that. You know, Krampus is pretty close or night, more Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, stuff like that. Um, but I don't think I'll be putting it as much. I'm gonna try to figure out a schedule for myself during December. Maybe two videos a day or something like that for a few days of the week, I would, I would think. Um, and then January is where it completely uh, dies out. January is usually where everybody leaves the channel. You know, Halloween is so far away in, in the, the minds of people that, you know, there's no reason to, to, to kind of go back to that. So. That's kind of it. And then usually through that year, I will post one video every month or something like that, just to kind of maintain the channel and kind of say hi. Um, I will put links after Halloween to, so that you can, you'll know where to find me. But right now, we're the full Halloween swing, so it is probably my favorite time. It is literally my favorite time of year, so I'm super excited. Thank you so much. Like I said, share the video if you can. That gives it a lot of momentum. It gives the whole channel a lot of momentum when you share it. Um, and that's it. Sharing it is like the equivalent of like buying me like a coffee or something like that. I'll talk to you later and I'll see you soon.